Psalm 23, verses 1 to 3, reads as follows. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. Good morning and welcome once again to Christ Church, Chorleywood, Daily Reflections. My name is Roger Latrot. The words I have just read come from Psalm 23 and they were words uttered by King David in the Old Testament. There are many spiritual truths in this psalm and I will continue to look at the rest of the passages in a subsequent reflection. However, I would like to draw out three truths to encourage your faith this morning. First, God is knowable. King David clearly had a personal relationship with God. He begins with two key phrases, quote, the Lord, unquote, and quote, my shepherd, unquote. He refers not just to any God, but the Lord, a reference to the God of the Bible as revealed to us through Jesus Christ, who is the exact representation of God the Father and the image of the invisible God. David's reference to quote unquote my shepherd is an indication of his close relationship with God. Now David spent a great deal of his life running away from King Saul who was jealous of him and wanted to kill him. But in the midst of such turmoil, David demonstrated strong faith in a God who is knowable and with whom he had a personal relationship and who on countless occasions was well able to deliver him from his troubles. Second, God is a God of the present. David says, quote, the Lord is, unquote. The word, quote, unquote, is here is important as it indicates the present tense. David is very much aware of God's presence in his current circumstances. In the book of Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 8, we are reminded that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever. Again, the writer of Hebrews reminds us that he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The psalmist states that God is our refuge and our strength and our very 
present help in times of trouble. The implications of these verses, if we grasp hold of them, if we truly believe in them, if we mix them with faith, is simply staggering. It means that we can be confident that we serve a God who is not just a God of the past or the future or someone else's God. But no matter what we are going through, he is an ever present God who is near to us and comes to our aid when we call upon him by faith. Third, God is our shepherd. David says, the Lord is my shepherd. Now we know that a shepherd is someone who looks after sheep. And a good shepherd would ensure that his sheep are well fed and well watered and are protected from danger. We see this from the words that follow. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. Now David's statements here are clearly prophetic. Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Jesus Christ laid down his life voluntarily by dying on the cross for our sins so that we can be brought back into a relationship with him. By his death and his resurrection, he has provided the opportunity for anyone, anyone who believes in him to have everlasting life. We can therefore truly say that in him we lack nothing. How does this apply to us? I would like to encourage you today, whatever your circumstances, that God is nearer than you can ever imagine. I'm part of a prayer triplet at work and we have been praying for months for a member of our group seeking better job prospects. He had been to several interviews and nothing seemed to be happening. We persevered and recently saw a wonderful answer to our prayers with an offer of a new job, which was also a promotion. Friends, God is at work in your circumstances, even if you cannot perceive it with your five senses. He is not a respecter of persons. He does not discriminate. He is, present tense, our good shepherd. And he was well able to meet you at your very point of need. If you put your trust in him today. The Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for the truth of your word. Thank you that you are our shepherd. You are the good shepherd who lays down your life for your sheep. I pray for every person listening to me today who is at a crossroads. I pray that they would make a decision for you to put their trust in you. I pray that you would meet them at their specific point of need. We thank you.